Hey, everyone. I'm Vladimir Dutte. And I'm Elaine Quijano. Today, a bloodbath on Wall Street as the New York Stock Exchange prepares to open. Dow futures are already down several hundred points. That comes as markets around the world tumbled sharply following more bad news from China. Now, investors are bracing for more turbulence led by another big sell-off in China. The Shanghai index fell 8.5% and Japan's Nikkei lost more than 4%. Top European markets opened lower as well. Earlier, I spoke with CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger about what investors need to do. Sit still and do nothing. Listen to me, really, because at this point, you've come into a market, hopefully with a diversified portfolio. You've got some things in the stock market, but maybe you've got some things in the bond market. Maybe you've got a little cash. All of those positions that were maybe chugging along and not doing too much that you said, oh, that looks boring to me. You're going to love those right now. But reality is, corrections happen. We've been long overdue for one. It's been almost four years since our last one. We usually get them every year or so. So please try not to react and be emotional and do something that you could regret later. I hear what you're saying, but I could also understand how some people out there might be saying to themselves, look, for so long, things were going so well. Things were looking up and I was doing okay. And now all of a sudden, I don't know what to do. I'm feeling as though I really need to take some action quickly. Right. And that's what's the urge that you are fighting, okay? Because the reality is that over the last 15 years, investors have gotten a massive dose of reality, right? We had a tech boom and a bust. We lived through that. That was scary. We had a housing boom and a bust. We lived through that. It was scary. We had a financial crisis and we almost saw the entire system crater. We saw the stock market drop by almost 50 percent. And what did we learn through all of that? Hopefully, as investors, what we learned is that by having a plan going into your investment career, some plan, any plan, I'm going to put some money away and have a little bit of money here, a little bit of money there, and being diversified, that weathers the storm. Most people, when they react in the moment, ultimately look back and say, that was really stupid. They're trying to time the market, right? And they say, I'm going to get out now because it's down 10 percent. What if it goes down 20 percent? Now, the problem with market timing, let's say you make the first decision. You're right. Let's say you sell today and we do go down another 10 percent. How will you know when to get back in? The problem with reacting emotionally is you'll never know when to get back in and you'll probably miss the recovery. So you're right. We're in the midst of a six and a half year bull market. It's gone really well. Before that, it was horrible. And so you take a step back and you say to yourself, hey, wait a second. I've been through this before. I know how this ends. I'm going to stick to my game plan. And another thing to be very clear about is if you are a long-term investor, you've got 10, 15, 20 years to go, why react in this moment? And if you are putting money into your kid's college account, if you're putting money into your retirement accounts, you should be happy with a correction. You're buying shares cheaper now, right? Okay, so that's the upside to yes. this. So for a buyer out there, this is excellent timing. It's great. Okay, let me ask you this, because some people will look at the situation and say, yes, but China is different seemingly now, because it used to be one could look at China and see that they were incredibly uh, rich with growth, that they were doing well, and now all of a sudden people are starting to hear about problems there, and that's concerning. It is concerning, but let's be clear, it is the second largest economy in the world. So when China was growing at 8, 9, 10, 12 percent a year, the economy there was much smaller. Now the economy in China is much bigger and it's growing at a slower rate. That's what happens as economies mature. China is still an engine of growth for the future. It is going through a period of, I would almost say, like teenage angst. You know, it's not a grown-up economy and it's not a grown-up stock market yet. And part of the issue is that the Chinese government is trying to figure out ways to help prod growth, but sometimes those efforts have gone awry. So they try to get people and say, go buy property, and they create a housing bubble. Last year, they really encouraged tons of regular ordinary people to invest in stocks. They created a stock market bubble and then the stock market bubble burst. So what's happening is they're seeing some growing pains in China. It does not mean China's economy is going into a recession. That economy is not shrinking. It is still growing. And by the way, our economy is still growing. So there's no evidence right this moment that anything going on in China has filtered into the U.S. yet. It could. I'm not saying it won't. But right now, there's no evidence. And we also know that Chinese economy is, the Chinese economy is certainly hurting the oil market. 
Oil's down below 40 bucks a barrel. That's bad news if you work for a big oil company. It's bad news if you own oil stocks. It's great news if you're a consumer. Your prices at the pumps are going to go down. All right, so that's another bit of good news. But the bottom line for U.S. investors, how long do we have to ride this out? I don't know. <laughs> Nobody knows. And I really want to be clear about that. You know, I've been watching markets. I've been a trader my whole life. And every time you think you know where the bottom is, where the top is, it's just not apparent. You know, my dad was a trader for 40 years, and he used to say, honey, they don't ring a bell at the top and the bottom. You've got to just stick to your game plan. You really have to take a moment before you do anything and ask yourself, do I really want to make this decision in this moment, in the heat of the battle? Try to remain calm. Go back to your core concepts of investing. I'm investing for the long term. I have a diversified portfolio. This is scary, but I know I'll get through it. If you stick to that, I think you're going to be just fine. All right, Jill Schlesinger, thank you so much. And again, the market opens at 9.30 a.m. Eastern. We've got full coverage from the Stock Exchange floor right here on CBSN.